Good morning everybody and welcome to today's literacy lesson, Tuesday the 5th of January. Now I know that you're all at home and this is a little bit unusual hearing my voice over the computer like this, but I hope you're all well. We're still going to carry on with our learning because it's really important. So let's start off with our introduction. So what I want you to do is that we're going to say these sounds together and I'm going to use my pen to splat those sounds that I point to. So let's do it together. Ooh, which one? Let's go for this one. What sound is it? Well done. Can you think of something that begins with the sound? You could think of thing or thumb. Well done. Let's look at another one. What sound is that? Shh. Well done. What word can you think of with the shh sound? You could have shop or shoe. Well done. This one. Y. Y. What word could you think of? have yo-yo or yogurt. Well done. Let's go for this one. B. B. You could think of ball or balloon. B. B. Ball. What about this sound? V. It's a tricky one. It makes your lips feel funny. V. You can think of van for this word. Van. Let's try this next sound. Ah, ah. Now we're really confident with that one. We know the ah sound. What word can you think of? Ah, ah, ant. Ah, ah, apple. Well done. Think of this word, this sound, sorry. W, w. You could think of website. You could think of web or wellies. And last one. Well done. What word can you think of with the j j sound? You could have jam or j j jelly. Fantastic. Right then, let's look at these pictures here. What do we have there? That's right, we have a van. Can you segment the word van for me, please? Let's do it together. V a n. Van. So let's write it. V a n van. Well done. The next picture that we've got is a web. Web. Let's have a go at segmenting that together. W e b web. W e b. Let's write it. You can write this down on a piece of paper if you like. W E B. Well done. The next one that we have would be a ship. Ship. So have a go at segmenting that on your own. Let's try it together. Sh I P. Ship. Well done. Let's write it. Sh Okay, remember what we call it when two words, two letters make one sound? It's a digraph. A digraph. So we've got sh, i, p, ship. Fantastic. Right now that we've done a little warm up, let's get straight into our main lesson. So over the Christmas holiday, I noticed that we don't have many books about poetry. So I think that we should work together and write a poem and make a book out of all of our poems for everybody to read in our class. So can you tell me what a poem is and what poetry is? And I think we've already done some different types of poems. Let's see if you can remember them. We did a acrostic poem when it was autumn time. We did a narrative or a descriptive poem when we wrote about our peculiar pets. And I think we've even done a funny poem as well with our peculiar pets. 
and when you go on through school you'll learn lots more about poems and the different types. So first let's get ourselves started to remind ourselves what nouns and adjectives are. When we write a poem you might need to have nouns and adjectives to help describe your poem. So nouns are things that have names or objects. So let me reveal some of the words. Dog. Dog is a noun because it's the name of something. Miss Dyson is a noun because that's my name. Football is a noun because it is a name of a sport. And fireworks are nouns because they are things that go off in the sky. Adjectives are describing words. So let's look at some of the examples. Red. You can describe something as red, such as the red van. You can have hot to describe the hot weather. Yummy. You can describe something as yummy, such as my dinner is yummy. You're describing it using an adjective. And last but not least, sparkly. You might describe something as sparkly, like the glitter, which is a noun, it's a name of something. Then glitter is sparkly. Now I've got a little picture here of a little monster and I want you to pause the video and see if you can think of any adjectives to describe him. So pause the video and have a little chat. I've thought of a way that we can describe the monster. You can think about the colour. So what colour is the monster? So the blue monster. We're using the adjective blue to describe the stripy horns on the monster. You're using the noun horns and the adjective stripy to describe. What about his hands or claws? So the noun is hand or claws. What do they look like? What adjective can you use? That's right, you could say pink claws or even sharp claws if you want to scare a monster. Well done, you could even think about the eyes or the teeth as well. So well done. So Miss Duckworth wrote us a poem for us all to read about summer. So let's have a little read together. Blistering blazing sun beaming down. Sweet delicious ice cream melting quickly. Gloopy sticky sunscreen protecting all over. Sizzling smoking barbecue cooking slowly. Clear tranquil sea swishing gently. So do you think that this is a descriptive poem? So is it describing something or is it a funny poem? That's right, it is a descriptive poem because you are using lots of adjectives such as clear, gloopy, sweet, delicious, You're using lots of describing words to describe your poem. So what we're going to do this week is we're going to start planning our own poem about winter. So poets are people that write poems. Just like authors write books, but we are going to be a poet. When writing a descriptive poem, you really need to think carefully about the words that we choose. So the words we choose affect how the reader feels and what they think of. This is called imagery. So if you talk about the sun, you might call it a warm sun. So that will make the reader feel warm. But if you say the beautiful sun, they might not get the same feeling. So we really need to think about how we use our words properly. So we're going to look at some nouns and adjectives that we can gather a list of that we can use in our winter poem. You can write them down like this if you like, or I will just keep track of some of the words that we can use. So I've got some pictures here. We're going to go through them together, OK? So what nouns can you see? First of all, so I can see 
snow. Snow is a noun. I can see car. Car is a noun. I can see some trees. They are nouns. And I can see some little footprints. Footprint is a noun. So what adjectives can we use to describe? So what do you think the snow or the footprints or the cars might feel like? Or what do they even look like? So we can say the white snow. We are using the adjective white. You can say the slippy ice. So you can describe the ice as slippy. You can describe the footprints as crunchy. So when you step on the snow, it might be crunchy. And you can even talk about the wind. Okay, it might be windy outside or freezing. Well done. We had snow last week, so maybe you had a chance to go outside and have a little play and get the feel of how it feels. So what nouns can we see here? So I can see fire. I can see wood, I can see some feet, fantastic. What adjectives can we describe? So how might fire feel? So you could describe fire as warm, cosy, peaceful, well done. So let's move on to the next one. Oh, I know that we all like this, hot chocolate. So the noun that we have is hot chocolate. So what adjectives can we use to describe the hot chocolate? We could say it's delicious, we could say it's yummy, we could say it's sweet, we could say it's frothy, so there's lots of froth on this one here. You might have thought of some other words. Now let's think of our coat. So the noun will be coat. How can you describe the coat? So what colour is it? How does it feel when you wear it? Is it warm? Is it cold? Is it comfortable? The last one, we've got some ice or some icicles that are hanging down. Those long spikes are icicles. So how might we describe the ice or the icicles? Similar to the snow, we can say that it's slippy, we can say it's white, we can say it's cracked. Here look, you see lots of cracks. We can say it's sharp on these big points down here. So now that we've thought of some nouns and adjectives, we can put them in a table just like this. This will help us with our poem when we're writing our sentences. So we can say the delicious hot chocolate or we can see, say the slippery ice, the soft scarf or the fluffy scarf maybe or the cold snow. You might have thought of some other adjectives that we can use. So if you have, write them down yourself and then you can email me and I can add them to our list because we're going to be doing this together. Right, well done for completing your first lesson online. Um, keep safe everybody. Remember that if you have any questions or want to show me your learning, you can email me using this email below. And also this week you will receive a phone call from your class teacher or one of the teaching assistants. It could be Miss Norton or Miss Collins. I hope you all stay very safe and see you soon. Bye.